Hi guys, how's it going? I'd like to introduce a new segment today called Patch Parables. This is my lovely friend Shepatch, and she's going to read you a story. Afterwards, we can discuss it. Take it away, Shepatch. The Parable of the Sandcastle Some children were playing beside a river. They made castles of sand, and each child defended his castle and said, This one is mine. They kept their castles separate, and would not allow any mistakes about which was whose. When the castles were all finished, one child kicked over someone else's castle and completely destroyed it. The owner of the castle flew into a rage, pulled the other child's hair, struck him with his fist, and bawled out, He has spoiled my castle! Come along, all of you, and help me to punish him as he deserves. The others all came to his help. They beat the child with a stick, and then stamped on him as he lay on the ground. Then they went on playing in their sandcastles, each saying, This is mine, no one else may have it, keep away! Don't touch my castle! But evening came, and it was getting dark, and they all thought they ought to be going home. No one now cared what became of his castle. One child stamped on his, another pushed his over with both hands. Then they turned away and went back, each to his home. I feel like this story truly articulates the way that we, as humans, live our lives on Earth. We are born, and so we build up ourselves based on material goods. We put up walls and say, This is my stuff, and nobody is allowed to have it but me. We safeguard everything and share next to nothing. When we run out of time, we return home. We kick over all of our toys, they didn't really mean anything anyway, and then return back to our home again until the next time, when we incarnate again and do the whole thing over again. However, we are changing. In the coming years, as the world collapses, we are going to be faced with many opportunities and choices. Will we choose to give and share and love with everyone around us? Or will we continue to struggle to survive on a model based on greed and separation? The choice is yours. Yes, you. As you go about your day, try to look for opportunities to share. Give your time and energy to others, and they will return your love with more love. A continuous cycle of growth and love that is fueled by incredible experiences and feeling good. You have the ability to change the world, and all you have to do is take that first step. Be the, Be the light. light. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Letting go taught me to feel again. To make amends, apologize to a friend. For losing hope instead of remembering that we were both desperate for the same thing. All we had were instruments made of sand